A lot taking a look at who's out for both teams. And both teams missing some players here early in the season. Maybe not equally, but no excuses either way. Now Atlanta starting five. The talented duo of Young and Murray of the backcourt. Bogdan Bogdanovich is out there with Clint Capella. And it's Hunter in at the three, the small forward. And for Indiana, we've got Miles Turner, Pascal Siakam out there with Neesmith. Then it's Halliburton, and it's Nimhard in at the two spot. We well, there may be a lot of games ahead, but game one of the regular season is always a little extra special, Grant. Yeah, no question about it. This is a game everyone looks forward to to start the season off on the right foot. I can't tell you how huge it is for a team's confidence to get a win on opening night, but it's definitely one everyone is looking forward to. Here's Siakam. And it's good. Two points. And just using every inch of his incredible wingspan, Siakam is able to make some creative finishes. Pass to Capella. Here's Murray. Going inside. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Now that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple a hundred years from now. Trust me. You know, when DeJounte Murray was traded for a multitude of first-round picks, it certainly came at a price, Brent. Yeah, it feels like the cost to acquire young, talented players in this league continues to go up. And that said, DeJounte Murray is a legit NBA All-Star. It feels like he still has a lot of room to grow. Despite the miss, those are the kind of looks coaches hope to create. Young, the pass to Murray. There's the three. Young misses. Well, even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that. And that's a bad miscue. And you can't give up looks like that all game long. Now here's Halliburton. Here's Siakam. Capella with a rebound. Well, the defense was right up on him. So electing to go for the fadeaway there to create some room. Well, that makes sense. B.A., the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering at home like that. Halliburton against Young. Halliburton goes. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And when you talk about the Atlanta Hawks, Brent, their entire 22-23 season seemed to be a win-one-lose-one scenario. Yeah, a bit of a toss-up there, finishing 41-41. They made a coaching change and with Take that a comes a, a philosophical one so you're making that adjustment but the Hawks just never found their rhythm you think with this offseason and retooling just a little bit that this team comes in composed with the goal in mind that they're going to be competitive this year and see if they can get beyond that first round exit from last year and Halliburton a guy you just continue to see grow game by game an exceptional talent and a great mind And both free throws good for Halliburton. Well, a great player on a great roll at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Now here's Murray. Here's the three. Siakam pulls down the board. And even though he couldn't send the shot back at him, he certainly altered it. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. Here's Nimhart. Siakam draws the double. Clock at six. Here's Neesmith. Hunter covering. Stolen by Capella. Here we go. The putback. The rebound by Turner. The Pacers have gone one for three so far. From 18 feet away. And he nails the jumper. Siakam's got his second basket of the game. Using focus and balance to convert jumpers. Wow. Siakam has really improved his shooting. Turner with it. And it's Young picking him up. And then Siakam with the jam. Oh, oh, oh my. 
what a display of effort. That's his bread and butter, right? Chasing down the boards. Stick with fundamentals there. Shot goes up, box out, or he'll destroy you. There's Young with the three. Knocks down the long J. I mean, how do you stop a guy like that? Defensively, you want to protect the rim. He's so far away as Trey Young from the bucket. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in this first quarter. Here's Neesmith. Hunter covering. Here's Siakam. That one rolls around and rims out. All alone from mid-range. you got to think he's kicking himself. Murray deciding where to go with it. Here's Young. It's blocked. And they recover it. The Hawks need to get one up here. Let's a three fly. And the Hawks with another three. And that's where Young is just so comfortable. He lives well beyond the three-point line. Siakam with a screen on Young. Halliburton, the pass to Siakam. And Siakam with the slam. Gotta love the effort there. An undersized four who can really make things happen with that leaping ability. Murray finds Capella. Young with it. Driving inside. Murray passes to Bogdanovich. Capella, screen on Siakam. Pulls up on the wing. They get it back. Second chance shot. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot. And will go to the line. That's good from Capella. And talk about a team that's known for being unselfish, the Indiana Pacers. Yeah, you know, B.A., it's part of their core philosophy. Keep the ball moving, keep everyone involved and engaged. Halliburton misses. The Hawks leading. To the paint. Bogdanovich, no good. Well, the D's so tight on him, it makes him alter his shot. And an easy chance turns into a tough one because the defense is swarming. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. That's going to send Pascal Siakam to the line. That one on Capella. One shot. good from Siakam. And for the past few seasons, the Hawks have been driven by their offense, Brent. And yeah, they really have done a nice job of finding some wing scoring to complement what it is they've gotten from the guard position. And they put an emphasis on the three-point line. They made a coaching change and that philosophy is also helping lead them to be a more potent offense night after night. Now here's Halliburton. We saw him with 19 his last time out. Another one falls for Indiana. Extra sauce on that one, please. Halliburton, wow. The Hawks have got 6 of 14 in so far. Young with it. Halliburton picks him up. And he comes up with a bucket. Young's got 11 points. This quarter belongs to him. And that's how you do it when you're out in front. Don't play it safe. Keep that momentum going. Turner, a screen on Young. Halliburton, the pass to Turner. Here's Nimhart. Beyond the arc. Rebound, Trey Young. Outside Murray. Takes a three. It's rebounded by Indiana. Turner's got his fourth rebound in this one. Maybe a time to rest him right now. Just give him a bit of a breather. Try to help him get back on track. Pass to Young. 
with the teardrop. And he takes it up and lays it in. And it's a six-point Atlanta lead. And here we go. Trey Young doing his thing. Cooking with grease right now. Nimhard, the pass to Neesmith. Here's Halliburton. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Hawks. Yeah, their early focus on outside scoring has paid off. They're finding plenty of points from three-point land. Well, not only that, but you love how unselfish they've been to start this game. That's going to get all the guys in a great flow and feeling good. So moving that ball around and scoring off assists, it's a nice way to play. And it's Murray with the ball for the Atlanta Hawks. Three-point lead. Last time they met in Atlanta. Today's game is about effort and energy. They got crushed on the glass the last time these teams played. Well, let's see if the lesson was learned from that loss. If they come out with the same type of effort, they can expect a similar result here. Free throw drops from Murray. Well, Grant, the Pacers made no secret about their focus on improving defensively. Yeah, B.A., I mean, that's how they'll take the next step. They rank near the bottom in a lot of defensive categories, and that has to change, and of course, they know it. McConnell, he's checked in for Indiana. And Murray drops them both. Well, since coming into the league, Murray's worked so hard on his free throw shooting, it's really paying off. Pass to Nee Smith. To the left side wing. McConnell outside. Back to Siakam. Five to shoot. There's a screen by Turner. Let's it go from deep. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. He just brings a great feel for the game at the offensive end. Murray against McConnell. To the middle. Oh, stolen by Turner. Here's Nimhart. Can't get the go-ahead bucket. Atlanta's gone three of seven from beyond the arc in the first. Stolen by Siakam. To the inside. Here's Nisret. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. One shot. And that one drops. So now they lead by one. And the Hawks shooting an impressive 47%. Murray against McConnell. Outside Bogdanovich. Murray passes to Hunter. Shot clock at six. Pass to Capella. Shoots over Turner. Oh, and Turner with a block. An impressive shot blocker. Turner's combination of size and timing on defense is so valuable. So it's Atlanta now. They trail by one. Murray against McConnell. The 17-footer. And it's Capella. Capella with the jam. That's a nice pick and roll there. Capella slicing with purpose after he sets the screen and ready for the ball. Pass to Turner. Here's Neesmith. McConnell passes to Siakam. Turner, a screen on Hunter. Pulls it. That one rolls around and rims out. Here's Atlanta with the ball. Capella, the pass to Murray. Here's Matthews. Yet to see a basket. Here's Capella. Oh, Siakam with the block. <laughs> and the coaching staff, they love this. I mean, Siakam, he's engaged, aggressive, just getting after it on the defensive end. Now here's Siakam. He's coming off a 19-point game against Cleveland. 
Fires the three. And he's now six for 11 after that one. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Bogdanovich on the wing. Screen by Capella. From about 19, it's rebounded by Indiana. That's how you want to see them crash to glass. They've been out-hustled so far. Siakam looking it over. Nimhard, the pass to McConnell. Siakam outside. Now with two fouls here in the first quarter, everything changes for him. He's got to be more careful on defense. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. And what a phenomenal replay of that impressive rejection. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense positioning himself well to send it back. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for the Pacers. Yeah, I love the energy and aggressiveness I've seen from them on defense. They're really getting after it with all these blocks. Well, right away, they've been hassling right. ball handlers, right. just swarming Good defense shot. and very active with their hands, looking for any chance to force any kind of turnover. The first one falls. I think when his coach looks at Andrew Nimhart, he sees lots of potential there, Grant. Oh, yes, he does, B.A. And for a second-round pick in 2022, he's been a steal. A pure point with size at 6'5", that enables him to play at either guard spot. Smith, he's checked in for Indiana. Tyrese Halliburton comes in for Neesmith. And he makes... both free throws and you have to be impressed how they're getting to the free throw line and taking advantage of those opportunities pass to Murray knocked loose oh it's stolen by Siakam now the Pacers on the move three-pointer Halliburton the rebound by Murray and it's Murray with the ball for the Atlanta Hawks seven-point differential to the wing on the left. Pass to Bufkin. Now here's Murray. Six to shoot. A shot to stop the run. Bufkin with the bucket. Well, the open man's out there. You got to feed him, and Murray gets the job done. Now here's McConnell coming off a 16-point game against Cleveland. Uh, he's passing another high point in that game. He made sure it wasn't all about him. He wanted to get his teammates involved. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. When you think about it, they're trailing in part because they're giving away too many trips to the charity strike. And so he makes both from the line. There's 42 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Bufkin. Murray finds some space. Smith with the rebound. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Three-pointer, Halliburton. Oh, wow. Drew the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. That one on Murray. Three shots. Three shots. And he hits the first of three. You have to love how fearless they play. It keeps getting them to the free throw line. The Hawks making a switch here. Griffin's checked in. Oh, 
And he's good on the second. The last one's off. They'll settle for two. The Hawks trailing. Pass to Bufkin. Here's Gay. Can't hit the turnaround jumper. And so it's Pascal Siakam making highlights for the Pacers. Oh, what a quarter. He was absolutely on fire offensively. We'll be right back after this word. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. All right, guys, let me get your thoughts on the Pacers and how they're playing so far. Well, you have to love their activity level at the defensive end, racking up those steals. You know, they really made a lot of good quality reads down there, took some chances, but feeling more calculated than risky. Well, Grant, you've been the up-and-comer, but you've also played the role of the veteran. What's the key to that latter stage? You know, B.A., your contributions as a veteran are felt just as much with your leadership as they are with your numbers. So sharing what you've learned with those younger players on the way up is so, so important. And the Hawks, looking at who they've got. Trey Young out there with Griffin. Then there's Bruno Fernando. And it's Matthews in at the three. And there's the basket. And the whistle blows. Chance at a three-point play here. Going to the line for one. Toppin. He's checked in for Siakam. misses Indiana leading Smith passes to Halliburton back to Smith Halliburton outside and here's Toppin from the arc rebounded by the Hawks I'm not sure how he finds himself in so much space there he's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one Connell against Young. Here's Gay. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. Great use of the bounce pass. Thumbs down on that one. Tough to defend against. And we're now about a minute into the second quarter of play. Pass to McConnell. Here's Shepard. He's scoreless. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. Fernando, pass to Young. Fires from deep. Rebounded by Halliburton. And Halliburton has got the ball here for the Indiana Pacers. Three-point lead. 
And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter. And here's Toppin from the arc. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. Toppin does a good job just focused even with tight D. Young looking for an opening. Halliburton against Griffin. Pass to Gay. Now Young. Let's go with a three. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll head to the line for three. What makes Young really tough to corral is he has that great spatial awareness out there. Free throw is good. Young. One of the truly elite offensive players in the NBA. Trey Young can carry a team and more with that shooting and playmaking. He hits the second from the line. And he makes all three. And so it's Indiana with it. It's a three-point game. Smith with a screen on Griffin. Inside. Oh, oh, hey! How about that? That's impressive. And that one is hammered home! This is just good point guard fundamentals from Tyrese Halliburton going to the pick and roll to create a bunch of options. And that was our AT&T 5G slam cam bringing you the sauce. Young against McConnell. Young, the pass to Griffin. Pass to Gay. Here's Matthews. Four on the clock. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. Just three to shoot. Here's Young. Set it up with a fake, but it's offline. Good contest. Can't let him have open shots from mid-range. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Well, Benedict Matherin talked about his motivation. He said, quote, a lot of people play a sport because they have talent, but I play for a different reason. I want to be one of the greatest players ever, and I want to take care of my family. I made that promise to myself when I was very young, and I have no choice but to be great. That's the way it is. B.A.? All right, Allie, thank you. Good reporting there. The Pacers have gotten just two of six field goals to go in the second. Poke loose. Here's Halliburton. Here's Smith. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. Nice find by Halliburton. Just a great feel for the game. Atlanta's gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Griffin against Halliburton. Outside Young. Pass to Gay. The three is up. Buries it. He's 2 for 4 in this game. It took a little bit of time, but now he's taking the pen off the cap and putting his mark on this game. Smith outside. Halliburton with the ball. Shoots over Griffin. And Halliburton, the bucket on the assist by Smith. Halliburton's got 13. That's three buckets in a row off assist. McConnell against Young. And there's the lob. In transition, here come the Pacers. Halliburton for three. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. Sweet to be a difference maker in the game, and he's been a great option for them on these possessions. Brent, when you take a glance at Obi Toppin, a young forward trying to be more consistent. Well, a guy that can really get out in transition, and we know, obviously, finishing around the rim, B.A., it's other parts of the game. What can you rely on from Obi Toppin consistently to make contributions to win it? Now here's Smith. They lead by the biggest margin of the game at nine. 
Back to Halliburton. Just five on the clock. Griffin against Halliburton. Griffin passes to Young. Pass to Gay. That's in. Coming off an assist from Young. Young's got four assists in the game. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Now here's McConnell. No points yet. Now here's Halliburton. Launches a three. Under duress. Halliburton for three. In today's NBA, you have to stretch the floor if you want to win. They have loads of confidence from three-point land right now. Pass to Young. Goes back up. It's tipped. Halliburton outside. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. Looking at the 2K leaderboard, here were the NBA's top dime droppers last year. Second, Trey Young. Not a lot of guys had better vision on the floor than him. He was able to see passing lanes and ready shooters no one else could. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Atlanta's gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. Boy, you got to like what Tyrese Halliburton has done in this game. They got to be using this timeout to think about a personnel change or a game plan change to try to slow him down. Young finds Bogdanovich. Pass to Murray. And the 18-footer right on the mark. Murray's got seven points. And that's where Murray can take his jump shot comfortably in the mid-range. Young against Halliburton. Now Turner. He's off on that one. Excellent D there from Capella. Bogdanovich against Turner. Outside Young. Pass to Hunter. Capella with it. Outside Bogdanovich. The three. Oh my. Came close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. And they'll give that one to Miles Turner.
And that one falls for Bogdanovich. And Bogdanovich has suffered some injuries along the way, and it's been a bit of a stop and start deal for him. But when he's feeling good and when he's in a great rhythm, man, he's an offensive force. Matthews, he's checked in for the Hawks. Good on the second one. And he nails the third. Here's Nimhart. He's coming off a 10-point game against the Cavs in Cleveland. Yeah, but all around offensively, the performance was great. He knew when he had it going, but he also knew he could get other guys going. So his passing right up there on the level with his scoring in that one. Well, he doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more, and he looks like he's going to get it. Here's Murray. And once again, off the mark by Atlanta. Maybe there are ways to contribute that don't involve shooting the basketball. That's the best way that maybe he can help them out in trying to win this game. Now here's Turner. 17 points for him. Last game against Cleveland. Lest us not forget about the work on the glass. His effort level was a 10 that night out of 10. Clock at two. Nimhart. No good from outside. Atlanta's gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Hunter passes to Bogdanovich. Halliburton against Murray. Back to Bogdanovich. Offline with a three. For Indiana, they've gotten seven of 13 attempts to go here in the second. Now Turner. No made baskets yet. Here's Neesmith. Back to Halliburton. For three. Atlanta with a rebound. Outside Murray. Jacks up a three. Atlanta gets it back. And Capella gets it to go. Capella's got nine. Capella, one of the best offensive rebounders in the league. It's because of his activity. Indiana calls timeout. And the Pacers making a change here. McConnell's checked in. And the change for the Hawks. Griffin, he's checked in for Matthews. Here's McConnell. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Pass to Turner. And here's Siakam. 
And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It's going to go on DeAndre Hunter. You can see the length come into play, whether Siakam's facing up or back to the basket. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. He's shooting more free throws as his career is going on. Siakam wants to get that percentage up. So hits one and misses one at the line. And one thing you like about Capella, he really understands who he is as a player. Well, this guy is the definition of a rim runner, protects the rim and rebounds. He does all the dirty work for this team, and he's willing to do that. That's how he makes his living. Well, we're chipping some orange paint off the rim here, guys. He must be more patient on offense than trying to find ways to penetrate inside and get closer to the rim. Now here's Siakam. 18 points for him. Inside Siakam gets the better of the defense using his agility, clearing himself a path to a shot. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Capella, screen on Siakam. And here's Hunter from the arc. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Hunter's gotten himself on the board with a three there. McConnell against Murray. Tries a 10-footer, and that one hits the back iron. Yeah, and they've taken their foot off the gas a little. They were much more aggressive to start the game and really getting their opponent in early foul trouble. Now here's Murray. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Minnesota. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. And Murray just determined to produce on that play. Free throw drops from Murray. For Indiana, they've gotten half their shots to fall in the second. Eight for 16. Pass to Siakam. Over Hunter. And there's Siakam. That one's good. On the assist from McConnell. Siakam's got five points now in the quarter. Bogdanovich with it. And it's McConnell picking him up. Bogdanovich against McConnell. Outside Murray. Just five to shoot. 16 feet out. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Siakam's got six rebounds here tonight. Over Murray, knocks down the step back J. And now a six point Indiana lead. Atlanta's got six out of 15 3 so far in this game. McConnell against Murray. Pass to Bogdanovich. Screen by Capella. Down low. This is one where the second foul is probably going to cost you some minutes in this game. Oh, my. That's why we had those breakaway rooms. Dude, he risked pulling the whole thing down to the floor right there. Free throw off from Capella. And Capella, just an outstanding rebounder on both ends of the floor. Shoots a tremendously high percentage from the field because he's always around the rim. Nimhart, the pass to Siakam. Yes. 
got a piece of it. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. The Pacers out in front, up four. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. <laughs> Allie. I'm joined now by Coach Quinn Snyder. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be right back to begin the third quarter right after this. Hey, folks, welcome. The Atlanta Hawks find themselves here in a close one at the half. Well, if I'm looking at what they did well, uh, first thing that comes to mind is rebounding. A lot of hustle points off extra possessions. And most of the time, they limit their opponent to one shot. Yeah, good hard work on the glass, keeping them in the game. Now taking a closer look at the first half, how about the performance from these two guys? Each time one of them scores, the other is coming right back. You love to see this type of competitiveness. But we knew coming into this, that might be the case. It's about bragging rights, Kenny. Like whenever I outscored you, I think it was every time. Except in the finals, I Ooh, know when that's you hit seven right, threes. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, indeed. I said it for you. There you go. Thanks, as always, for watching. Let's head back to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the second half. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. Man, what can you say? Pascal Siakam, an impressive effort here today. He's been dominating down low. Gotta assume they'll keep feeding him the rock. Oh, man, pouring it on right now, and why wouldn't you? Miles Turner out there with Pascal Siakam. Then there's Tyrese Halliburton. Then it's Neesmith. And it's Nimhard in at the shooting guard position. That's the five for the Pacers. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Indiana leading. Turner passes to Halliburton. From downtown. Yes! Tough point from Tyrese. Steady from behind the three point line. Halliburton is someone you rely on to knock down a few threes. Back to Young. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Looking back at last season, the best when it comes to shot blocking. Fifth, Miles Turner. It's obvious that he completely dedicated himself to protecting the rim, doing everything he could to get his hands on as Take many break. shots Take as break. possible. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. off on the second. Indiana has got seven of their 16 three-point attempts to go in. Here's Halliburton, and he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That one on Young. Savvy move by Halliburton. Sees opportunities so quickly for a young player. Throw good, Halliburton. So he hits one of two from the stripe. Chalk up two there. Siakam's got 26 points. A fantastic athlete. You love the effort Siakam shows on the glass to keep plays going. Pass to Hunter. Three-pointer. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. Murray's got six assists now in the game. You got to try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three-point shooters in the league. And the foul on DeAndre Hunter. That'll be a second foul of the game.
And we're about a minute and a half in the second half. Pass to Neesmith. To the middle. Here's Halliburton. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Halliburton piling up points. He can thank his impressive work ethic for that. Bogdanovich with a screen on Halliburton. Oh, the lethal three ball of Young. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. Nimhart outside for Halliburton. Five on the clock. Pass to Turner. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Nice physical play by Turner. Getting to the strike. And that one falls for Turner. When you think about Turner, one of the best shot blockers in the league who can also score at all three levels. And so Turner nails them both. Here's Murray. He's got 10. Just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now. Screen by Capella. Murray passes to Capella. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Well, Capella's not backing down from that. He shoots right into the coverage to create that foul. Can't get the first one. And the second free throw is good. Second half of play here with just under two and a half minutes passed. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian, the Hawks made the Eastern Conference Finals in 2021, but now they're looking to return to contention. Trey Young said, quote, we'll be all right. It's really just about us taking care of what we can control and making sure we're ready every night. But if we get into a rhythm, it'll take care of itself. Brian? Yeah, great point. All right, Allie, thank you. First free throw is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Pass to Gay. Here's Murray. Six on the shot clock. Here's Young. A tough two from Trey. And not wasting any time here. Kicking their offense right back into gear. That's three of four from the field. Siakam finds Halliburton. There's a screen by Turner. Pass to Neesmith. There's the triple. The rebound by Bogdanovich. Surprising to see him miss here, but they'll be happy with that shot in most possessions. Gay misses. That's not going to make you a favorite target of your teammates. They'll think twice about feeding you if you're going to keep missing layups. Halliburton goes. 
There's Neesmith with the three. Down it goes. And a great assist by Halliburton. Halliburton's got four assists in the game. That's pretty much not how they want to defend the three-point line. Somebody's got to shadow him out there. Now here's Young. He's got 22. Pass to Bogdanovich. Let's it go from the wing, and he hits the jumper. Bogdanovich has got five points. And Bogdanovich doing a great job of separating from the screen. Halliburton against Young. Now Siakam. Siakam draws the double. Three-pointer, Halliburton. Rebound, Trey Young. Young's got four rebounds now. Here's Gay. He's covered by Siakam. Rejected by Siakam. And so it looks like it'll be Atlanta's ball. And that shot was going nowhere thanks to that aggressive swat. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with authority. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. And here we have last season's best free throw shooting teams in the third spot, Atlanta. Now, we all know that getting to the free throw line is so vital in today's game. I mean, you get the freebies, plus you put your opponents in foul trouble. Right side, Bogdanovich. Shoots over Neesmith. And again, it's Atlanta. Pretty calm on that one. Bogdanovich staying with it even under pressure. Up top, Turner. Pass to Halliburton. And the three off target. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Outside, Bogdanovich. Back to Capella. Oh, and Turner with a block. Bogdanovich against Halliburton. To the left wing. Siakam finds Halliburton. Here's Nimhart. Six to shoot. Nice shot by Turner. And Young has got the ball here for the Atlanta Hawks. There's the screen. Launches it. Oh, Young hits a contested three. And any decent look from distance, he's taking it. He has that locked-in mentality right now. Seems to be taking it on his shoulders aggressively to shrink this lead. They really needed those points. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And the defense recognizing that Turner can make this shot, which is why he gets fouled. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Pacers. Their defense has been on point all game long. They're out hustling the shooters and swatting down plenty of shots. Well, another thing that has really stood out is just their effort defensively. Active hands, jumping the passing lanes, racking up steals. That's been impressive. McConnell, he's checked in for Indiana. Matthews, he's checked in for the Hawks. And he sinks the second. For Atlanta, they've gotten six of ten shots to fall in this third quarter. Murray against Halliburton. Pass to Young. Fires for three. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Halliburton against Young. Now here's Halliburton. The D's right on him. 
McConnell from outside. The rebound by the Hawks. Outside Young. Pass to Murray. Now here's Capella. And here is Young. He's marked by McConnell. Young misses. The Pacers have gotten five of ten shots to go. Halliburton for three. Nails it from beyond the arc. Halliburton's got nine points now in the quarter. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. Murray up top. Looking to win this cold spell. The Pacers pull it in. Siakam's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Siakam gets double. It's good. And now it's a 10-point Pacer lead. Yes, certain nights Siakam takes over. He's been aggressive here from the tip. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. And I heard Giannis Antetokounmpo say he would have loved to go to your alma mater, Grant, because of all the tall and skilled players that have come out of Duke. You know, B.A., I'm not sure he mentioned me on that list, but certainly nice to hear that from Giannis. Young, the pass to Matthews. Here's Gay. He's covered by Siakam. Pass to Gay. Shot clock at six. And stolen by McConnell. Out left to the wing. Hey, rejected by Capella. Well, Capella's reach is so intimidating for anybody on the inside. That's why you can anchor your defense with him. Atlanta's gotten three of six threes to fall in the third quarter. Young with it. 25 points in the game. Here's Murray. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Pacers have gotten 7 of 14 attempts to fall in the half. McConnell passes to Siakam. From 9 feet and off the glass. That one's good. Siakam's got 6 here in the quarter. The Hawks trailing. Pass to Fernando. To the inside. Bufkin. Doesn't go for him. Great D that time from McConnell. The Pacers have gone 8 of 15 in the third quarter. Toppin passes to Siakam. And here's Toppin. Here's Nimhart. He's got five. Shot clock at five. Siakam, no good. Oh, can't punish the defense for leaving him open that time. That's a frustrating miss for a really steady jump shooter. And he does that so well. At his size, he's always a threat to throw it down. Pass to Siakam. From 18 feet away, rebounded by the Hawks. Murray's got four rebounds now. Inside. Over to the left wing. Here's Bufkin. No good on the triple. Indiana leading. 
Siakam outside. McConnell outside. Here's Nimhart. And he hits the jumper. Nimhart's got seven points in the game. Well, the Hawks shooting 44% since the third quarter got underway. Pass to Fernando. Now here's Murray. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Smith, he's checked in for Indiana. McDermott comes in for Nimhart. throw drops from Murray a minute 50 left in the third pass to Smith now here's Siakam defense is right there Smith no good Atlanta has gone three of seven from deep so far in the third quarter here's Bufkin he's marked by McConnell Bufkin no good and the Pacers shooting around 51%. That's a good number. Here's Shepard. Pass to Siakam. The jump hook. Bufkin with a rebound. And the Hawks shooting just 42% so far in the game. On the wing, Murray. Out to the wing. They set the screen. Let's it fly. Bufkin with the bucket. Bufkin's got his second basket. Boy, this offense has been dynamic and diversified. Just everyone sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you difficult to defend. Here's Shepard. Still without a bucket. Back to McConnell. Clock at four. 11 feet out. And he throws it down. What a terrific lead pass. What elevation. He's a smaller but still determined big man. And he likes mixing it up with his impressive vert. Here's Bufkin. He's marked by McConnell. Here's Bufkin. He's got five. From deep. Smith with the rebound. Smith's got seven rebounds in the game. Puts up a deep three. And that's not going to go. And so it's Indiana leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. More 2K action in just a moment. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. And Atlanta, looking at who they've got. They've got Griffin. He's out there with Trey Young. And it's Gay in at the four. To the paint. Fernando. Oh, there's a killer two-hand slam. I just love the aggressive finish. I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. Griffin against Halliburton. Pass to Smith. McConnell against Young. Oh, he tries a three. 
McConnell's shot is off. And Atlanta shooting an average of 43% from the floor. Here's Griffin. And Toppin pulls it down. Well, the Pacers shooting at a respectable 49%. Picked by Smith. Three-pointer, Halliburton. Knocks it down from distance. Halliburton's got 12 points in just the second half. I don't know. I'm getting the feeling as this game moves on, he's getting stronger. Pass to Fernando. To the inside. Young against McConnell. Knocks it loose. McConnell with a steal. Falls for McConnell. That one's no good. The Hawks trailing. And here's Griffin outside. That's in. Coming off an assist from Young. Griffin's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Halliburton looking for an opening. Shoots over Griffin. Down low. Halliburton working through the D. That's a crafty play by Halliburton inside. He navigated his way around several coverages. There's Young with the three. Smith with the rebound. Smith's got rebound number eight now. Halliburton outside. Pass to Shepard. Three-pointer. And again, it's Indiana with a three. Well, kind of like playing in the rec league. Little to no defense on that possession. And the easiest three-pointer you can imagine. Here's the pick. Takes the three. It's rebounded by Indiana. Smith's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Here's Shepard. Over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Pass to Smith. Toppin outside. Puts up a three. Gets the three to fall. Their offense has been unstoppable. Just firing on all cylinders. I mean, this team is just dangerous. Right now, every shot that they're putting up feels like it's going in. And even losing big, you have to maintain composure if you want to avoid embarrassment. Nimhart, he's checked in for McConnell. And a change for the Hawks. Hunter's checked in. Halliburton outside. Smith with a screen on Young. Halliburton, the pass to Smith. And it's flushed down! A nice jam! Great decision from Tyrese Halliburton. Understands when he should look to set up his guy. Time now out, a timeout time out called by Atlanta. Boy, you got to like what Tyrese Halliburton has done in this game. With the perimeter D struggling to stay connected to him, they're getting bombarded. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Well, Quinn Snyder had some words for his team over the break. He did his best to light a fire under them, saying, we have to fight. Now is the moment we have to come out of this deficit swinging. Guys? Allie, thank you. Griffin outside. Pass to Young to end the run. Drains the triple. Young's got 28. He hit three triples in the first half. Three more since. <laughs> That's nothing to shrug at. 
Nimhard, the pass to Halliburton. To the middle. Here's Smith. Oh, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and a nasty jam. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Now here's Griffin. Pass to Hunter. Outside Young. Fires the three. The shot no good. The Pacers have gotten almost all of their shots to fall in the fourth. Six of seven. Here's Shepard. Down it goes. And a great assist by Halliburton. Shepard's got six here in the quarter. Well, that's a shot he can hit. If you give it to him, you need a little more energy on defense that next trip down. Halliburton against Young. The ball's knocked loose. It's stolen by Halliburton. It's a three-on-three -three fast break. Pass to Nimhart. Shoots over Griffin. The shot by Nimhart, no good. That's got to frustrate him. He knows he should have made that one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. And Griffin gets it to go. Oh, man, easy money for Young. When someone's that wide open, he's going to turn it into a bucket. Nimhart, the pass to Halliburton. Young with the double team to the right side. And here's Toppin from the arc. The rebound by Matthews. For Atlanta, they've got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. Down low. Pass to Hunter. The three. And the Hawks with another three. Hunter in rhythm is a much better shooter. And that shot looked nice. Halliburton against Young. This one for three. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. For Atlanta, they've gotten five shots out of nine to go in this fourth. Inside. And the deficit down inside single digits. Young's got 14 points now in the second half. He's done everything he can to give them a lift tonight, but it hasn't been enough. Pass to Halliburton. Over Young. Tyrese playing big in the painted area. Halliburton comfortable from there. Defense has to watch where he gets to on the court, because right there he's dangerous. Hunter on the wing. Excellent D there from Toppin. The Pacers have gone 8 of 12 so far here in the fourth. Halliburton with the ball, and it's Young picking him up. Pass to Shepard from the arc. Rebounded by the Hawks. Here's Fernando. Now Young, guarded by Toppin. Now Halliburton. Toppin outside. Pass to Halliburton. Here's Shepard. Clock at six. Off target with the three. Halliburton against Young. Here's Fernando. Hunter with the ball. Knocked away. In transition. Here come the Pacers. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. And the gamble paying off. Griffin, a screen on Halliburton. Young from long range. He can't get it to go. Boy, I'd love to see him just get a smidge closer to the basket. Once he sees a few shots go in from there, that might open up everything from distance. Toppin, a screen on Griffin. Back to Toppin from outside the arc. That's good. And Halliburton gets the assist. Halliburton's got assist number eight here already in the game. Young from long range. Smith with the rebound. Smith's got 11 rebounds in the game. To the paint. Here's Toppin. Takes it into the teeth of the D. And converts the layup. And the Pacers lead by 18. And Young has got the ball here for the Hawks. Pass to Fernando. Hunter against Toppin. And here's Hunter. Six to shoot. 
Here's Fernando. Ooh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. falls for him. Bogdanovich has checked in for the Hawks. DeJounte Murray comes in for Griffin. Both good from the line that time. They've got a commanding lead. It just seems like everything is going their way. Here's Siakam. Can't hit the turnaround jumper. Atlanta's gone four of nine from three-point range in the fourth. Murray passes to Hunter. Now here's Murray. Let's it fly from 18. And he dunks it down. And that's a double-double for him now. Murray looking more and more comfortable in these pick-and-roll sets. That's a sweet time. The Pacers' shooting has been good. Around 52% from the field. Pass to Turner. That's tipped. Here's Fernando. To the left wing. Young drawing the double team. Hunter passes to Young. From behind the arc. Oh, he drains! the three and he'll go to the line for one more and they'll give that one to Miles Turner Capella he's checked in for Atlanta Herder's such a talented swing man, and every year he seems to find a way to add a little bit of something to his game. Now here's Halliburton. And Young with the block. On the push, here comes Atlanta. Here's Bogdanovich. And with that one, the deficit trimmed to single digits. Well, Bogdanovich, we saw a little bit of this during the All-Star weekend. He can play with a little bit of flair, and you know he's confident when he starts to show those signs. Young against Halliburton. A minute 50 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Tries to spin move. Here's Turner. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. And that one falls for Turner. 143 left in the fourth quarter. Young from long range. And the Hawks with another three. Difficult to try to stick with Trey Young, especially when he's rising up there. Young against Halliburton. Pass to Siakam. All right, guys, what do you think so far about the offensive approach for the Hawks? Well, they have owned the offensive perimeter throughout this game, finding lots of openings and turning them into big shots. And they've also put an emphasis on driving inside in this game. The defense hasn't been able to stop them from finding those gaps. He drops the first one, and that'll put him up by nine. Siakam hits them both. 
Atlanta is shooting just a phenomenal clip. 59% here in the fourth. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to be on Tyrese Halliburton. Well, that's the attitude that the coaching staff talked to us about before the game. Heads up, aggressive play, and right at whoever's guarding Trey Young. Brings him within single digits. And both free throws good for Young. Well, Indiana shooting just about 57% in this fourth quarter. Pass to Siakam. Using his post moves to get the two points. Siakam's got 34 points. Nothing left to do but to watch the clock tick towards zero. Nice victory here for the Pacers. They had to fight for this one. With the game hanging in the balance a couple of times, they made winning plays, Grant. It's all about having a strong mentality. What's interesting is that any time momentum turned against them, instead of folding, they responded with their own attack. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for Tyrese Halliburton. He was tough to cover all game long. One of those nights when he felt like nobody could stop him, and they didn't. Pass to Bogdanovich. Comes up empty down low. Indiana on offense. One second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Halliburton, the pass to Demart. Halliburton against Young. Here's Neesmith. 4-3. That's good. And Halliburton gets the assist. You can feel the excitement in this arena. These guys have done one heck of a job. A huge motivation. Always great for a young team, but veteran players also appreciate when fans come with that kind of energy and get into the spirit of the game. And so it's Indiana winning this one. Even early on in this game, they appeared happy to be playing at home. And it makes a huge difference. Once they started to get into a groove, you never really felt like they wouldn't come out on top. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Pascal, these days you are called upon to carry this team. Does that bring added pressure? This is a game that I love, and, and, and I just want to have fun playing the game. And I think, you know, I got to just be myself. Like, don't get lost in, in everything going on. Be yourself. Play basketball. Have fun. And, you know, um, I'm just happy to be able to go out there and play hard. Guys, he wants. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. We'll see you next time.